This is the Scary Movie Clubcast. Live from the clubhouse, it's Scary Movie Clubcast. This is Dahmer. This is Amanda. This is Nadine. And Megan. And tonight we watched Rear Window. I would give the movie, I don't know, three out of five dog that I don't know. I don't know Rear how we do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you not remember the movie? In part of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, we watched it during our 24 hour Halloween marathon. But we watched it tonight, and you were talking about it. Yes. You can't say that. She just said we watched it tonight. Well, tonight is our 24 hour. <laughs> <laughs> what? And we stopped to do this? Uh, <laughs> give me an appropriate movie rating, and I'll give it. <laughs> no, I mean, do you? Oh. So, so what did you say? Three. You said three. Okay. Amanda? It's like the giant from The Conjuring 3. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit Inspiration. Less. Uh, this... <laughs> yes. Every time you guys say this from Five Foam Foam, what I want to say after is I want to be like, I smell the blood of a fine booty one. <laughs> I bought it the first time, Love but it. I didn't say it. Should have. Oh, you missed the opportunity. <laughs> what can I say? I know, I feel like Manda should have made her comment too that she made while we were watching the movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That booty will quit, but that heart will. I know, that was a good oh, one. Yeah, that yeah, was a good one. That was good. <laughs> Sometimes we have our moments. I know. <laughs> I would give Rear Window. 4.5 dog baskets because it's definitely one of my favorite Hitchcock films but I don't know if it's my favorite yeah I, mean, I would agree yeah hard. not my favorite but it's oh, it's up there yeah it has hard competition yeah it, yeah truly <laughs> All right. Well, so tonight... What? We still have two more people. <laughs> you you were the only two that rated it. Please so watch me on my jet ski. It's fine. <laughs> so this Sorry. is why we don't ask you to intro, by the way. Sorry. In case you're wondering. <laughs> I better say it quick before Dahmer moves on. <laughs> I would give it 4.7 uh, dog baskets. Also, put a leash on your dog, people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Or just walk the dog down the stairs and walk with back. Is leash. it so hard? Is it so hard to do that? Yes. It's not like it's a, you know, it's a really tall building. <laughs> I don't ridiculous. know. I actually, I really, really get all that. <laughs> because I watched this movie not that long ago, and the guy was only, like, on the second story of something, and he was <laughs> leaning out his window trying to angle his trash into the trash can. Oh, and I goodness. really understood that. <laughs> oh, I mean, Lord. it was New York in the summertime, so you're like, oh. Not okay. Go yeah, she's fine. just got that cap energy where she's like, no, getting things done. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. I am going to give it 4.6 dog baskets. So those, that's the range of appropriate ratings. <laughs> In case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so tonight we have a special game that's been prepared for us by Nadine, and we're going to pass it over to her. Okay, guys, so this is actually an idea that we've been kind of workshopping since season one, but just haven't done yet. We thought it was probably too crass, but now we're just going ahead because we crazy. <laughs> so the general idea is that it's murder mad lips. So we take a real true crime event, literally happened to someone, and, <laughs> and essentially what I did is I took... Um, sections of the Wikipedia page, and then I took out and I made blanks that we are going to fill in in a Mad Lib way and then read it out. And I'm going to read it out like that, and then you guys have to try to guess what it is. We have three of them that we're going to do like that. Okay. Two of them, you guys will for sure know the crime, a million percent. Okay. One of them you may not, but I just really but Amanda wanted will. to do it. <laughs> no, she, just she, may, she may or she may not. Like... Okay. I'm counting on you, Amanda. <laughs> I mean, if it's not a serial, I don't know. But absolutely 100%, all three of you should know the two. Okay. 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 All right. So there's a wild card in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the thing is, even though these are murder Mad Libs, I did not necessarily pick murder cases. Just true crime. Mm, interesting. Yeah, okay. because, you know, if I'm picking between accuracy and alliteration, alliteration's going to win every time. So that's why I kept them yes. as murder Mad Libs. Obviously. <laughs> Okay, what do you yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes me feel a little bit better about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, good. I'm glad. It's. I mean, my mom and I test ran the first one as I was doing it, and she was laughing. She found it to be pretty funny, and she's usually not into things like that. All right, so let's get started. So for the first one, someone give me a person. Should we 
like rotate. No, please don't. I don't like being put on the spot. So, so we'll just, just if you shout think of it one. out. Yes. Yeah. That, that I mean, like don't like go the whole time without Christian Bale. Right, right, right. Christian Bale. And another person too. Uh, Queen Elizabeth the second. Oh, Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, I should have made these spaces so much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I need a body part. Leg. Elbow. Oh, okay. I'm saying. What did you say, Megan? I said leg. Like, you know what's funny? My mom said elbow when we said <laughs> <around> it. <laughs> Let's see. A holiday. Christmas. I was gonna say Arbor Day. Oh. <laughs> that would have been Just funnier. That would have I been like better. it better. Yeah. We're switching it. Just We're switching it. Feel like doesn't get the appreciation that Christmas does. <laughs> I love it. And I need a location. Grand Central Station. Okay. Let's all maybe try to think of some shorter things. (laughs) You can't box this in. (laughs) A weapon. Oh, a hammer. A noodle. It's not a weapon. It can be. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Anything can be a weapon if you try hard enough. Mm -hmm. I need a form of transportation. Oh, a unicycle. Um, oh crap. I wrote it on the wrong space. Oh no. Ah. Happens to the best of us. Oh, something that you would pass on the road on like a road trip. A cow. cow. Wow. <laughs> that was freaky. <laughs> oh, I need an amount of time. Seven Ours. years. And then I'm going to need two separate movies. Oh, Jaws 3D. Love Actually. You know what's weird? My mom said Jaws when we did this. That was one of her movies. She's <laughs> really in sync with your mom tonight for some reason. <laughs> it's good. You should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm not so lucky because <laughs> only the two of them. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you gave us the gold that was Arbor Day. <laughs> well, I try. Some of these go in multiple lengths, so I'm just finishing yeah, yeah. real quick. We have all the time in the world. All of this can be edited out. <laughs> Easy for you to say you don't have to edit it out. It, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> Slide right off my tongue. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> all the horrible garbage sounds we make. The ums. The and. <laughs> we did a lot of talking over each other, too, in The Conjuring. I oh, was we like, sure <laughs> did. I was like, that one's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. Oof. Real catch twenty two. You realize you do it, but not until after you've already done it. And you're like, mm. sometimes I realize while I'm doing it, and I'm like, what? Well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Just knock yourself. laughs> Amazing. But, thought, but sometimes it's like mu- multiple of us are doing it, and so I'm like, I mean, even if I stopped, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna get any better. We're no. always gonna be this terrible. Yep. All right. The incident in which Christian Bale severed Queen Elizabeth II's leg occurred on Arbor Day in Grand Central Station. <laughs> Christian Bale stated in a court hearing that after coming home that evening, Queen Elizabeth raped him after they, <laughs> oh, went, no. to, after they then went to sleep. Uh, Christian got out of bed and went to the kitchen for a drink of water. He then grabbed a pool noodle on the kitchen counter <laughs> and returned to their bedroom and cut off her leg. Ooh, <laughs> After this, <a> pool noodle. <laughs> <How you gonna? laughs> After this, Christian Bale left the apartment with the severed leg and drove away on his unicycle. Mm-hmm. As you do. <laughs> After a while, driving driving and struggling to steer with one hand, he threw it out the window onto a cow. Uh-huh. <laughs> he eventually stopped the call, uh, stopped and called 911, telling them what had happened and where the leg could be found. The queen's leg was found after an exhaustive search, and after being washed with antiseptic and packed in saline ice, it was reattached in the hospital where she was treated. The operation took seven years... <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II <laughs> went on to star in Jaws 3D and Love Actually in the 1990s and stated in 2018 that her leg is quote unquote back to normal. This is the story of the Lorena Lorraine Bobbitt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know this one at all. She, you don't know the Lorena Bobbitt? She, she cut off her husband's penis and threw it out of a moving vehicle. Yep. Uh, <laughs> And then they reattached it, and then he started in some pornos. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. 
I was gonna read like the oh. thing. <laughs> well, you can now cut out seems... Amanda's thing. <laughs> <What's... laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it because I'm gonna do it for the other ones anyway. So. Yeah. The incident in which Lorena Bobbitt severed her husband John Wayne Bobbitt's penis occurred on June 23rd, 1993 in Manassas, Virginia. Really close wow. to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we could probably go <laughs> in a field. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been to Manassas, Virginia. Yeah, I've been yeah. there, too. Yeah. Uh, Lorena stated in a court hearing that after coming home that evening, her husband raped her, and he then went to sleep. She got out of bed and went to the kitchen for a drink of water. She then grabbed an eight-inch carving knife on the kitchen counter, returned to the bedroom, pulled back the bed sheets, and cut off his penis. <laughs> after this, Lorena left the apartment with the severed appendage and drove away in her car after a while driving and struggling to steer with one hand. <laughs> that part kills me every time I read <laughs> Just the idea of her having it in her hand the whole time. <laughs> she threw it out the window um, onto a roadside field. She eventually stopped and called 911 telling them what had happened and where the penis could be found. John Bobbitt's penis was found after an exhaustive search and after being washed with antiseptic and packed in saline ice, it was reattached in the hospital where he was treated. The operation took nine and a half hours. John went on to star in two pornographic films in the 1990s and stated in 2018 that his penis was quote unquote back to normal. Oh boy. <laughs> so you could see it if you wanted to. <laughs> That's a pass. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you never heard of the Bobbit case. No. It is famous. I think Weird Alpha in one of his songs mentioned it. It's definitely been on a lot of pop culture yeah. type of things, yeah. Yeah, they make comments like pulling a Lorena Bobbitt. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're on to our second one. I need a person. What? A person? Nancy um, Kerrigan. I don't know who that is. Yeah, pick someone more relevant. Uh, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, a nickname. Billy Joe. <laughs> is that a nickname? That's just a name. Puddin'. Uh, a time period? And, well, actually, you, I need, like, two time periods, actually. Oh, Stone Age. Between the 1800s and the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 what makes sense? <laughs> I need a place. Grand Canyon. You really like grand places, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I need a... Well, actually, two weapons. Oh, Candlestick, because we're in Clue. Um, a crescent <laughs> roll. No, but a weapon. It's not. Get yeah, out of here. Kind of funny. But it's, it's not. only funny to you. <laughs> Cat trophy. <laughs> um, an occupation. Surgeon. No, it's boring. It's too late. You already said it. Do you have something else? No. <laughs> um, what about um a snake catcher? Snake Wrangler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake Wrangler. Classic. <laughs> didn't even know what she said. No, she didn't. I'm an idiot. Okay, a place to live, but like, like, like in Mash, like Mansion Apartment, Jack House, like something along those lines. Oh, a haunted a Victorian mansion. <laughs> you remember how you said short? <laughs> We're trying to stick to that. <laughs> My dream home. <laughs> and a destination. Bora Bora. A way to kill someone. Um, uh, asphyxiation. Uh, 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 I, I, I see you going after that cake. <laughs> and then a different way to kill someone, but that ends in ing. Vaping. Smoking. <laughs> Shooting. Hanging. <laughs> Vaping. Smoking. Like, what are you even saying? It's like a long term. <laughs> like hey. Shooting or hanging. Get away. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. So, sh- shooting or hanging? It doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel good. Okay, and age. 47. No. Get away. Get. Get, get to him. <laughs> Come here. Come to me, darling. Um, another person. Michael Bublé. It's a good one. And a sum of money. Oh, two, two cents. <laughs> 
I don't know why you both wanted it, two. It's a two dollar bill. Two dollars or two cents? Yeah, those are your options. <laughs> well, we can go two dollars. Um, a task. It's doing the Declaration of Independence. Oh, oh my yes. gosh! That is yes! Like, you're long. With that. <laughs> so long. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, something you do to relax. Pet pepper. <laughs> Some type of, like, a movement. Oh, dots. Crawling. Did you say dots? Dance. Oh. And a time period. But this one is, like, you know, like, an amount of time, basically. Oh. Oh, three, three seconds. <laughs> what is with the two of you? <laughs> Are you sure you guys want to do another small one? <laughs> what? Why not? 30 no, years. I mean, you can. Yeah, it's fine. kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Jack Sparrow, known in the media as Puddin, was an American serial killer between the Stone Age and the 1800s. <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> Jack Sparrow abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women in and around the Grand Canyon. <laughs> He killed many of them with a candlestick and a cat trophy. His modus operandi was to pick up a snake wrangler in his car and force them at gunpoint to his haunted Victorian mansion where he would rape them. He would then fly them out to Bora Bora before asphyxiating or hanging them. On June 13th, 1983, Jack Sparrow offered 47-year-old Michael Bublé a $2 bill <laughs> to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> when... And why wouldn't he? <laughs> For that Don't cover your laps! <laughs> <laughs> when he got into the car, he pulled a gun on him and drove him to his home. There, he held him captive and proceeded to torture and rape him. He later told police that after Jack Sparrow chained him by the neck to a post in the house's basement, he then pet Pepper on a couch nearby <laughs> after he uh, put him in his car and took him to the airport where he told him that he intended to take him to Bora Bora. Michael Buble crouched in the back seat of the car with his wrist cuffed in front of his body while Jack Spiro's back was turned. Michael Buble crawled out of the back seat, opened the driver's side door, and then crawled away. He was arrested and convicted in 1983 and was sentenced to three seconds and a life sentence <laughs> without <laughs> the possibility of parole. <laughs> <laughs> and the life sentence. <laughs> Not the three seconds and the life sentence. <laughs> it's too much. It's cruel. <sighs> is this a guy in Alaska? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Did you know? Mm -mm. <sighs> Alright, let me read out the little thing about him. So, Robert Christian Hansen, known in the media as the Butcher Baker, was an American serial killer between 1971 and 1983. Hansen abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women in and around Anchorage, Alaska. He hunted many of them down in the wilderness with a Ruger Mini 14 and a knife. His modus operandi was to pick up a sex worker in his car and force her at gunpoint to his cabin where he would rape her. He would then fly her out to a secluded area and hunt her as if she were wild game before shooting or stabbing her. Oh, I do know this. Yes, okay. On June 13, 1983, Hansen offered 17-year-old Cindy Paulson $200 to perform oral sex. When she got into his car, he pulled a gun at, on her and drove her to his home. There, he held her captive and proceeded to torture and rape her. She later told police that after Hansen chained her by the neck, to a post in the house's basement, he took a nap on a nearby couch. Mm, <laughs> nice. What a lunatic. Yeah. When he awoke, he put her in his car and took her to Merrill's, Merrill Field Airport, where he told her he intended to take her out to his cabin. Paulson crouched in the back seat of the car with her wrist cuffed in front of her body. While Hansen's back was turned, Paulson crawled out of the back seat, opened the driver's side door, and ran. He was arrested and convicted in 1983. He was sentenced to 461 years and wow. a life sentence wow. without the possibility of parole. 
And then also just like a random thing that I pulled out was that on the Wikipedia page, I noticed that he had been convicted of rape like previous to any of the murders Mm -hmm. and he was sentenced to five years. And then also he had been convicted of stealing like a neighbor's chainsaw or stealing it from a place or something. Either way, he stole a chainsaw and he also got five years. So the same amount of time, whether you want to rape a woman or steal a chainsaw, apparently, in Alaska. Mm, Great. Mm -mm. Real hot mess. Yeah. And then our last one. I need a person. Bill Skarsgård. (laughs) (laughs) Of course. The victim or the killer. (laughs) You won't know. And age. Two. (laughs) And another age. Seven. (laughs) They're so close. Are you sure? I'll write 423. <laughs> I mean, you can do what you want. I'm just saying. Um, another person. Pennywise. <laughs> no, too connected. Next. <laughs> um, okay. The Gerard Butler. You guys pick all men, basically. Okay, sorry. Um, Pennywise technically isn't a man. It's a thing. It's an it. <laughs> <laughs> a place Siberia mm-hmm. something you could use to cut plastic mm-hmm. knife a sharp spoon <laughs> a sharp spoon I, don't know. I like that better <laughs> third person Selma Hayek who is that oh I didn't realize you meant an additional person. I was like, I have to say something in the third person? I was like, I "I don't understand. Um, And then we actually also need a fourth person. Oh, Thomas Edison. I hope he's one of the people who dies. Wow. (laughs) Didn't know if you feel so strongly about (laughs) Edison. (laughs) Oh, wait, didn't we do Selma Hayek for the first one? Nope. Okay, we did a different person. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, right, right, right. A sum of money. Um, $343.22. A fifth person. Sorry, there were a lot of people. Uh, Genghis Khan. (sighs) Right? It's gonna say Marie Curie. Mm -hmm. And an amount of time. 57 years. Bill Skarsgård is an American kidnapping victim. He was abducted from a Philadelphia sidewalk at two years old. There was one witness, a 423-year-old named (laughs) Gerard Butler. (laughs) (laughs) Gerard Butler tried to help Bill Skarsgård, but was pushed to the ground before two men pulled off. Bill Skarsgård... Some of that old being pushed to the ground. I know. (laughs) Bill Skarsgård... They're not dead. Turned to dust. (laughs) Pushed... (laughs) Unless, of course, he is Dracula, so... Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Bill Skarsgård's abductors bound his hands and feet and held him captive in Siberia until he was able to free himself by using a sharp spoon to cut the tape off his wrist and then smashing a window a day after the kidnapping. Selma Hayek, who performed the physical kidnapping, and Thomas Edison, the getaway driver, (laughs) were arrested three days after the kidnapping, which they had committed in an effort to collect ransom money from Bill Skarsgård's grandmother. The kidnappers asked for a $343.22 ransom after a rumor... (laughs) So specific. (laughs) After a rumor spread about the family getting life insurance after their uncle was shot and killed. <laughs> what a terrible life insurance thoughts. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Not very much. Philadelphia's police inspector Genghis Khan commented on Bill Skarsgård's <laughs> escape from captivity, stating, I have 57 years in the police department, and I have never seen this kind of heroic act of bravery committed by a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was kidnapped and got away. So I will say, I mean, but, it, was, it was famous enough that I, like, knew you know, about it offhand. Like, it's not like I went searching for it. And I did know something impressive it. for their age. So they're either really young or very, very old. Probably young. But if they have a grandmother, then probably young. Yeah. I'm going to hazard 13 years old. That's not 
the question. Down. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't okay. know. Helps us but I mean, we'll, things down we'll based on their excellent <laughs> guess. But it didn't at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of any kidnapping stories saying no where they found the kid or the kid survived. So you can't think of any. No. Elizabeth Smart. Oh, just her. Um, what was that other girl's name? Oh man. Oh, I read her autobiography. Dang it, this is gonna bother me. There's also the the girls who were held by Angel. Oh yeah, those so, three girls. Yes. Yeah. So I know that they also made it out yeah. alive, but I I don't know what this specific case is. Yeah, and that one was a ransom. No. It's a result of a life oh, insurance yeah. policy. J.C. Duggard. That was the other one I was thinking of that was like really famous at the time. Mm. Okay. I don't know that one. Oh, I read her autobiography. I know that who was... you're talking about. Oh, upsetting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so was the Elizabeth Smart one. Yeah, I know I I've read been... that one too. My sister Speed read that one to me and my sister oh. Jane. <laughs> Caitlin reads so fast. I've been crazy. listening to the second season of the Cold Podcast. Oh, yeah. And so it's a different case that they're focusing on. And the case that they're doing features a rape. And they have discussions after each episode. And in one of the discussion episodes after the we heard about the, her rape is that um, they brought Elizabeth Smart on. Oh, wow. And interviewed her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really interesting. I really enjoyed that discussion episode. What was the... Was she the one who got her arms chopped off? No. What was that that one? I mean, she's a survivor. I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember her name. Was it... It starts with an M. It's another one who got kidnapped, though. (laughs) Yeah, but it's Uh definitely not... That was, like, a grown woman, though, right? Yeah. She was... She was, like, 15 or 15. Oh, okay. Okay. She was a hitchhiker. Oh, maybe. Something like that. No clue who this is. Yeah. Okay, so her name's Erica Pratt, which I knew her specifically from Dave Chappelle talks about her in one of his stand-up specials. It's, Uh like, this bit that's about, like, how old is 15, really? And he talks about, like, you know, how Elizabeth Smart was, like, older and was only, like, eight miles from her house, and he's, like, he was, he was, like, if my friend, if you're gonna kidnap me, you're gonna need to take me to somewhere where I don't know. I'm gonna be, like, that's my bus stop. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but, and then he has, he talked about, like, uh, this black kid who was found guilty of murder and, like, sentenced to a life sentence at 15, Mm -hmm. and, like, just these crazy things. Anyway, he mentioned her, so I'm gonna read the stuff from Wikipedia. Erica Pratt is an American kidnapping victim. She was abducted on July 22nd, 2002 from a Philadelphia sidewalk at seven years old. There was one witness present, a six-year-old child named Ronnie Bird. Uh, Ronnie tried to help Erica, but was pushed to the ground before the two men pulled off. Erica's abductors bound her hand hands and feet and held her captive in a vacant house until she was able to free herself by gnawing at the tape on her wrist and then smashing a window a day after the kidnapping. Edward Johnson, who performed the physical kidnapping, and James Burns, the getaway driver, were arrested three days after the kidnapping, which they had committed in an effort to collect ransom money from Pratt's grandmother. The kidnappers asked for a $150,000 ransom after a rumor spread about the family getting life insurance money after their uncle was shot and killed. Philadelphia's police inspector, William... Cola Rulo commented on Pratt's escape from captivity, stating, I have 21 years in the police department, and I have never seen this kind of heroic act of bravery committed by a seven-year-old. Her problem-solving and actions, including her cries for help, have been cited as lessons for others. Aww. Yeah, she's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Coolest kid. And it was another little kid who helped her. The This little boy Aww. who was probably, like, could not be older than 10 years old, like, somewhere around 10 or younger. He was the one who heard her screaming for help from the window that she had opened, and he went Aww. over and, like, helped to get her out. Aww. That's adorable. The kids in Philly, man. Yeah. <laughs> they know what to they do. They got each other's backs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? When you're a kid, the only person you want to trust is another little kid who's probably younger than you. Yeah. So, those are our murder math tips. <laughs> mm. <laughs> did a good job, guys. Thank you, Nadine, for putting together that fun game for us. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Scary Movie Clubcast, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. 
See you next movie night, and don't forget, there are 90 days till Halloween. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. <clears throat> Alright, so tonight we have a special activity planned for us and i'm gonna i'm gonna redo that so i was like what the is church and we're back in the days i can feel like that's what it was i'm like oh we have nfhg a What's special happening? game yeah yeah it's a game basically <clears throat> thank you nadine for putting together that fun game um you said that so weird that's so weird <laughs> i did like you saying thank you so i do think we we'll just redo it okay <laughs> Um, for the rest of you, you can follow us on it. Please, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, the rest of you rest that are you. Nadine, because Nadine sucks. <laughs> that was the undertone okay. of your comment, okay. by the way. <laughs> you can you follow... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>